It's a good ready with me. Well, good morning, lovely people. As you can see, the first thing that I do after I get up is to make coffee. This is very, very, very important for me. More important than uh, brushing my hair, as you can tell from this lovely video. I'm pretty sleepy and cranky, so coffee has to happen first. While my coffee's brewing, I go in and I start my morning routine. I start with scraping my tongue, which is a kind of older Ayurvedic thing that I learned to do growing up, but I'm too cheap to buy an actual tongue scraper, so I just go into my clean dish rack every morning and grab a spoon like the cheap bee that I am. Then I brush my teeth, gargle, and get ready to wash my face. Sometimes I cry because it's so early. As you may know, because I complain about it all the time, I have a lot of skin issues, so I'm obsessed with keeping my face clean, which means that I wash my hands with soap and water every single time I'm gonna touch my face, no matter whether I have to do it six times because I leave the bathroom and go touch my phone, I do it every single time, no matter what. So even though it's not ideal, I dry my face with paper towels because I have to have something clean. I don't have laundry in my building, so I can only do it every like 10 days or so and I just don't have enough towels and enough time and money to make that happen in a completely sustainable way. Um, then I add my skincare, which if you wanna see, go to my Get Ready With Me video on my page, which I'll link below, and check it out. Next, on a super early morning such as this, I usually put eye drops in my eyes that I keep in the fridge, they're nice and cold to kind of soothe the redness and the swelling. And then I get ready to put on my nice cold eye patches that I also keep in the fridge to try to look just a little bit more awake and alive. After I'm all cleaned up, I go into the kitchen and I get two probiotics that I take with a ton of water. Today I'm gonna do some hot water and lemon too just to get everything flowing, if you know what I mean. And also, what would a YouTube morning routine be without hot water and lemon? I feel like it's just something you have to do if you're gonna film what you do in the morning. So I probably won't have time to drink much water today. So I'm gonna drink a whole bunch now before I have to get on the train to try to rehydrate and wake up before I start my coffee. But my YouTube video was uploading overnight. So I'm gonna finish that right now. So now that I'm all hydrated, it's definitely time to start caffeinating. It's very, very, very much time to start drinking all the coffee in the world. I try to avoid dairy as much as I can, although cheese is delicious. But definitely for morning coffee, I stick to oat milk. I like to foam it in this little frother that my BF's mom gave us. And I make a little cafe au lait and it foams up all nice and cute and it's absolutely delicious. Come to mama. Look at that. Mm, yum. I really want one right now. This is my new favorite sugar-free sweetener. It's delicious monk fruit I'd never tried before, but it um, really takes the edge off of stevia, which can be a little bit bitter. A lot of people don't like it. I don't mind it, but this is definitely like amazing to me. So I'm gonna drink this coffee and I'm gonna do my makeup. I was gonna show you, but the radiator is absolutely blasting. We don't have a thermostat. So that's fun. So I'm gonna be naked trying to keep my makeup on while I'm sweating in the winter. The sun is finally up and my makeup is done, but I had to rush over to the train and you know what? I missed it by about one second, which was painful, but I did end up making it to set right on time, right before my call time at eight. This is me on the actual toilet, on set, <laughs> ready to do my lines. I couldn't film much, but you know, just a little sneak peek here or there. This is the product shot. You can see them setting up the tampons to look absolutely lovely. And here's a little behind the scenes at lunch, just taking little two second clips when I could. I didn't really have time to record much, but you know, just wanted to show you a little bit. They rented out this space. Uh, so this is actually just someone's apartment that they're using for set today. We did about 50 shots, I believe, the director said, and so I didn't get many breaks. I was in a lot of them, which, hey, I won't complain about, but I was definitely beat. So we just wrapped. I am completely exhausted. My headphones are stuck. Gonna walk this suitcase home, get on the train, 
and call it a day. So I could not film anymore yesterday. I was completely brain dead and exhausted. I forced myself to go to the gym, which I was proud about. The BF and I went over there, um, cranked out a quick 30. It definitely felt a little better, but I was just like dead when I got home. My honey gave me a little foot rub, and that was nice. I'm a spoiled brat. Um, I definitely earned it though, I'll say that. Definitely, definitely. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, how cool performance can be and how it's really hard work and it's even more re work than I realized. I mean, I don't know why I didn't apply the same kind of thought process that I did to like to how hard I worked on music and performing classical piano to then any other kind of performance. But you always think like in your head, you know it's a lot of work, but then you don't really get like how much work it is and how hard it can be to have 20 people on set just staring at you. And like, I definitely had a few times when I would like have a lull, um, cause you know, you do the same thing over and over again and you have to keep your energy up. And sometimes you have little dips and eating helps and taking a break helps, but sometimes like, you know, the show must go on. So that's one of the great things that performance has taught me is that you have to, it just teaches you how to push through even when you feel like you can't, even when you keep failing, like it's so, so embarrassing and nerve wracking to just to keep getting like an instruction from the director or from um, the client. And then just, you just can't quite get over the hump. You just keep like messing up. Like I couldn't, um, I kept doing this weird thing with my hand for this one scene. And there were like four takes where I did it. And I just, I, I just kept doing it by accident. And I, I wasn't trying to, I was trying not to, but then I would focus on like the line cause it had slightly changed. And you know, you're focusing on trying to keep your hair okay and acting natural. And I'm not really an actress, you know, like I'm a pianist and a model and I'm working. I want to get more commercials for sure. Cause I really do enjoy it. And I think it's good money and it's fun. It's good exposure, but you know, I'm not a professional actress by even the slightest little bit of imagination. And so it's hard for me to think about all those different things while, you know, acting and acting natural and, and directors and, and same with on set for modeling too. Like whenever, whenever you're stiff and you're in your head and you're just not doing great, they don't want to be like, you're bad because then you're going to be even worse. It's just going to make you more self-conscious. So they just keep saying like, you're doing great, but just have fun with it. Like that's always the line or like, just say it how you're saying it to a friend. And like, I definitely heard little whispers in the background and you know, no one's mean, but um, you know when you're doing good and you know when you're not doing good. And <sighs> it is hard to push through sometimes. But the point that I'm getting at very slowly, apparently, is that I would encourage everyone to try a little bit of performance of some kind, whether it's music or modeling or acting or whatever you're interested in, because it's really cool to have to go on. You have no choice. So that forces you to tap into whatever resources that you have to keep going. And I think it can really help your confidence in some ways, or at least being able to fake confidence, which is what you have to do half the time anyway, because things hurt and you have to, you know, let it go and move on from it. And sometimes it takes time. So you, you fake it till you make it. That's what I always say about body confidence too. And so, you know, when you're just failing miserably and everyone's watching and everyone's tired and everyone wants to go home and everyone, wa everyone wants to get to the next shot. Like everyone wants to get this done. So they're all depending on you. It's all on your shoulders just to like nail it and let's move on. And when you just get stuck and you can't, do it and then you have to just you know you're doing bad and you just have to keep going and you have to act confident even though you just like really don't like yourself in that moment and i think that that's a really useful skill and you can apply it to any job for sure and this applies to so many vocations like i learned how to do some of this when i was waiting tables you have to pretend that you don't hate someone when they're being absolutely horrible to you or you have to take care of 20 different people at the same time and pretend you're not stressed out especially in fine dining you have to be like everything is luxurious like i don't know if you know this but there are certain rules like which hand you excuse me which hand you have to put the plate down with at first and you know how you have to serve the water and um with what hand and with your arm behind your back and uh of course never any pointing on the dining room floor you always want to use open handed gestures oh oh mrs robinson the bathroom is right over here yeah so it's all a bunch of performance there's some shakespeare quote about that we're all just performing everybody but anyway just wanted to finish up with that cool thought. I think it's cool. Hopefully you do too. 
Um, please remember to like and subscribe. We're gonna have a couple more episodes coming out very soon. I'm also going up to Connecticut with my girls for another road trip, another content creation marathon. So stay tuned for some content that we create during that time. Thank you for watching, everyone.